Welcome to this video on how to speed up my computer. In this video, you are going to get powerful tips and very easy to use uh, steps that you're able to make your computer run faster by today. Okay, so let's, um, before I start, I would like to let you know that these tips applies for Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 as well. So let's start with the first tip, all right? So the first tip is removing visual effects. Well, these visual effects are actually fancy effects that, that makes your windows look nicer because uh, you could see shadows, you could see animations and fading effects. However, these effects will actually slow down your computer um, because it takes up some processing power. Okay, so by removing them, it will actually help you to make your computer run faster. And this is the easiest uh, tips that I've used and I could see results instantly within a few seconds my computer is running very fast so all you need to do is just go to okay all you need to do is go to uh, computer right click click on properties all right click on advanced system settings Right, it is very similar uh, when you do these steps on XP and Vista or 7. Right, under these tabs, all right, choose Advanced, click Settings. All right, so by default, it will look like this. Adjust for best appearance, so it looks the best. So if you want it to work faster, click on Adjust for best performance and click on the Apply button. All right, so once it is applied, um, you immediately see that your computer could be running 50% or 100% faster. All right. So the next tip is uh, disk cleanup. You are going to use a software called Disk Cleanup. So this Disk Cleanup is actually a software provided with Windows, and you could use it to clean up lots of files that is not uh, unwanted files and files that you are not using are, that are slowing your computer. So where is this disk cleanup tool hiding at? So just click on your start menu on the bottom left hand side and choose all programs and look for accessories and click on system tools and under system tools look for disk cleanup. All right. So once you click OK, um, it will start uh, process and estimate how much space that you could free up and then um right i just do an example okay so as you can see it's calculating how much space i'm able to free up all right so next you um you it will actually display how much this space you could actually free up so if you haven't been using this tool before you probably could free up to two to three gigabytes of this space and that's a lot and you're able to increase the speed of your web of your computer um, very easily with this tip. So just tick on those that you want to delete. All right. Normally I recommend you to take all of them. So and click on OK, and you'll start cleaning. Uh, the disk cleanup tool will start cleaning them up. All right. It might take a few minutes, but once it's done, once it's done, uh, you're able to see a s increase in your computer speed. So the next tip is uh, remove unwanted programs and files. So if you are not using the files anymore, go through, um, you could, you need to delete them. And once you delete them, um, empty your <coughs> recycle bin, right? This is important because the more files you have, um, the slower your computer will run. So um, go through all your folders and see what are the files that you are not using anymore, right? If you don't want to delete those files, another way that you could do is you could transfer them into an external hard disk. Because if you are running Windows and many other files at the same hard disk, it will slow down a lot. So remember to transfer them or delete them. For programs such as software, you could delete them um, at your control panel. All right, click on control panel and add. Sorry. Um, So uninstall a program, all right? So 
by then you could see a list of programs and if you don't don't want those programs just click on them and remember to uninstall them and you're done all right so the next tip is clean up your desktop well um, it is very important to clean up your desktop imagine if you have 10 uh, different I if you have let's say uh, 30 to 40 different items on your desktop your computer will be definitely very slow so make sure it is clean so how to do that all right let's go to the desktop all right so if you have a very um, if you have a desktop full of stuff um, then it will be very slow so how to organize all your files into a few of them so one easy way is you can create folders by right click on it and under new create folders all right so categorize this uh, name your folders as such as business or work or studies and once you are done you have all the files in it put put in there and if you have entertainment stuff you could actually create another folder as well try to maintain two to three folders and all your files in it all right you could even create subfolders in your folders to organize all the information so this is pretty convenient and it will actually help you to speed up your computer as well always keep and keep a habit to keep all your files into these folders all right so let's move on to the next tip the next tip is this defragment right many people know this tip is able to increase the performance of your computer but not many people do it or because it takes hours so what you can do is before you sleep use uh, do this defragment and do it uh, once every week so where is this tool for this defragment all right there are many other free software um, to defrag your disk however uh, you could start by using the free tool provided by windows so uh, click on the start menu under all programs go to accessories and very similar to the way you find this cleanup uh, so under under this cleanup you see this defragmenter all right so click on it and what you need to do is um, start by analyzing your disk and next you defragment your disk so it might take um, a few hours depends on how much space you use for me this is a very new computer it could takes up to 30 minutes or even one hour to defrag it so after that you'll see that um, your computer could run faster defragment is basically a way that compute the windows uh, organize all your files together so that when you access your files it will be much easier and faster the next tip is using a free soft a free tool called PC speed doctor all right this tool you you could actually get it at my blog at best way to speed up computer dot blogspot dot com all right so um, it is right here um, PC speed doctor just click on it and you get to this page all right so click on free instance scan and you're able to scan your uh, PC so what it does is is actually uh, it actually goes to your computer and find out what is actually slowing down your computer so and um, it is able to maximize the PC performance okay so the next tip is using uh, is to do overclock All right overclock is a way that uh, to force your hardware to run faster All right uh, if let's say your processor is currently running at 2 gigahertz it will, it, it will actually force your processor to run up to 3 gigahertz to 4 or 4 gigahertz um, by doing that you actually um, make it run faster at the same time uh, it will actually produce more heat so some people might worry that their computer will be overheated well if you have software to monitor the heat and alert you and you do it uh, by following someone's guide you will not have such problems so to, to learn how to overclock your PC such as your CPU graphic card and RAM I highly recommend you to learn from a guy um, that written the overclocks your CPU ebook okay so it is at my blog as well so click on overclock your CPU and you reach this um, you don't have to do this honestly 
especially if your computer is currently uh creating a lot of lots of heat right you don't have to do this but if you have a computer with a good cooling system i highly recommend you to do this because it will actually help you to save thousands of dollars to upgrade your hardware such as buying a new cpu uh, a new graphic card or ram so um this guy is able to increase uh the performance of the cpu from um, from 1.9 gigahertz to 3.5 he's a very uh he's a very very good expert in this area so i, I highly recommend you to get this book if you are interested in overclocking so that's all um thank you and if you want to get more tips remember to visit my blog at best way to speed up computer.blogspot.com and enjoy your new computer because it's going to run much faster than before. Thank you.